light is changing so fast here. What's up guys, welcome to uh, first Scotland episode, which is going to be like my, uh, like my normal New Mexico episodes in that um, the light's changing really fast and I'm really confused and I don't know what to do. <laughs> so a lot has happened and a lot has gone wrong and a lot has gone good, um, but I really, oh, it was just lit up here. Boy, light changes fast in Scotland. <laughs> So over there is Isle of Skye. This is Maleg area, and we just saw this really cool area. Uh, so we're gonna pull over and do some photography as cars go flying by us. All right, let's find a way up there or over there. Okay, so the light just completely disappeared in what seems to be typical Scottish fashion. That's okay, we're gonna wait for it to come back. Remember just a few videos ago when I said that I really wanna lighten my load and that I'm very excited about traveling light? Well, I need another camera and I'm really stressed out about it <laughs> because I left my other backup time-lapse camera at home so that I could stay light. And Camera Lady is obviously using her camera to film this YouTube video. So that means I only have one camera and I want to time-lapse everything in this entire country. And I want to shoot birds in the face. There's a loon right there. There's another one. Apparently they don't, they're not called loons here, they're called divers. So there's a diver right there. And I just took off my one to 500 so that I can time-lapse this, but the light is now gone. And there's a loon, a diver right there. I don't see any more. Any more. Any more holes in the sky? Yeah. There's also a really cool old like viaduct bridgey looking thing right there that we can't, that's what we were trying to get to, but it's all blocked off and on this like sketchy hill. So that's not gonna happen. But this loon is here. So you know what? Um, the birder in me has things to do. The landscape and time-lapse photographer in me can, uh, can wait a minute especially because there's no light. But this loon, I don't know if I'll ever be able to call them divers without calling them loons first. This bird is here. Let's, let's look at him. Look at that bird business. Let me guess, it's incredible. Camera lady thinks she knows me. It's, Brittany, I have only said incredible twice since we've been here. If you mean twice every three seconds, then yeah. <laughs> twice every three seconds. Oh, you're... Camera lady's harsh. I may have said incredible a number of times earlier. Oh, so today uh, we stopped at the Urquhart Castle in Loch Ness. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but uh, I've given up trying to pronounce things properly over here. All right, so I'm gonna put this in crop mode real quick. This is my R5 with one to 500, and I'm gonna shoot this loon in the face, this diver, oh my gosh, right in his little face. Oh, he's coming, he's coming closer. He's coming closer. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try to, you know what? When you're doing sketchy things around things that you can smack things on, you should definitely put your hood on. And also, uh, also lens caps. You know what, camera lady? I've had it about up to here with your logic. I can take maybe this much logic. Also, I'm still in my skate shoes. I forgot to put my boots on, but now I don't have time, so skate shoes and rock scrambling is gonna have to work. Luckily, these rocks are dry. Also, this is nice. Please tell me you get that geology reference. And for those who don't know, yes, I am a geologist. It's what my degrees are in. Okay. I, I don't know if I'm gonna spook him or not, but I wanna get lower to ground level with him. Oh, there's little flowers and like lichen stuff. I don't know what this stuff is called over here. 
A lot of macro possibilities over here. Oh, look at this big quartz vein. Wow. Okay, this is about as close to the water as I can get. I'm just gonna lock it in right here. Now let's look at him. Let's see. There he is. You see that? Oh, gorgeous. If he comes over here, I'm gonna be so happy. All right, time lapse is finished. Of course, as soon as I don't have my one to 500 on, another cormorant just flies by. The sky is actually lighting up behind me. It's lighting up over there, but there's a giant cliff right there and a fence and no bueno. Those two time lapses were really cool. We're looking at the mountains over Isle of Sky right now and uh, they are getting covered in clouds. I did get, I got a couple of these shots. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I got this shot with this crystal quartz, this quartz vein on this rock right here. And uh, with about as much, whoa, with, as bad as, with about as much color as it we're probably gonna get tonight. Uh, but I also got a cool shot, I think, of the viaduct thingy. I don't know what that is, but um, it's derelict and it's really cool looking. So I wanted to mention, like I, I said, we went to, uh, to Urquhart Castle and that was really awesome. Like we went there during the middle of the day, so it was difficult to, uh, to photograph in terms of like being a, wanting a, a good, shot out of it like from a professional standpoint <laughs> uh, there's a lot of tourists and stuff because it's middle of the day but you know we luckily stumbled upon Scotland in the springtime when all of these uh, goss or gorse or whatever they're called the, the yellow flowers they're all in bloom and they look really pretty and then the, the trees with the white flowers and so we actually ended up getting a lot of I actually ended up getting a lot of really cool shots I think um, that I just tried to be like a little different too with my angles and my approach to like, you know, not shooting what everybody else was shooting and getting these unique angles. And we had the sun come out for a little bit and we had these like dramatic clouds and we got a couple of cool birds there. That was technically my first uh, Scottish bird. Very happy about that. And it's just, Urquhart, the whole, like, don't be, a, if you go somewhere, just don't be a camera snob, don't be a photography snob, don't let the fact that there's horrible light or the middle of the day or tourists distract you from, especially in my case, the fact that I'm in Scotland and I'm in a castle that's like almost a thousand years old. It was just epic. So just take the photos, take them all, and don't put your camera away and don't stop taking photos because you might get something you like. But more importantly, you will have the memories. Whether or not it's a good photo professionally is mattering less and less to me, especially because this is more of a vacation. But just in life in general, it's just these are the memories that I'm making and I'm gonna be able to remember that for the rest of my life and see those photos. And in 50 years, if I'm still alive from now, 30 years, whatever, I'm gonna be so stoked just to see those photos. And it's not gonna matter if the light wasn't amazing or the composition wasn't completely perfect or you know, none of that stuff is gonna matter in the future to future me. And I'm just, I'm so happy to preserve those memories and be here and just soak this up completely. And I'm still gonna try to get good photos, but if I don't, I'm still just happy to be here, you know? This is just incredible. Uh, I said it again, Brittany. Camera lady's got a tab going on how many times I say incredible while we're in Scotland. So if you think you can keep track uh, if I let it slip on camera. I'm trying not to, because she's giving me looks. <laughs> it's almost like Tom with absolutely stunning. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna wrap it up here. That's day one. So hopefully we're gonna go find some more cool stuff tomorrow, but again, with, with Scotland and this weather and everything, I have no idea what's gonna happen. So uh, plans are out the window, and I guess you'll see what Scotland looks like through the eyes of a desert rat. <laughs> all right, if you're still here, through all the chaos and the weird random pictures of landscapes and birds, I'm staring at birds right now, sorry. Don't look over there. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. I super appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next episode.